Normani takes Fifth Harmony's single literally and falls down. You've got to see Liam Payne's first solo music video. And Ariana Grande has returned to the UK just 10 days after the fatal bombing. All that and more on today's rundown. Okay, you guys, later on in the show, we're going to be talking about how Kim is accusing Caitlyn Jenner of ruining three families. Yes, but first, let's talk about Fifth Harmony's brand new single, Down. All right, you guys, today, as promised, Fifth Harmony released their first track since Camila Cabello featuring Gucci Mane. Ooh. Take a listen. Do you like it? I like it just because it's Fifth Harmony, but it is a little repetitive. I thought it was a rip-off version of Work From Home. I was waiting for something to me. escalate uh, more, and it kind of just stayed the same. It's growing on me. I'm just not in love, in love, in love. Anyways, the girls did take Good Morning America by storm this morning to perform Work From Home, Worth It, and of course, Down. Long as you hold it. All right, so Gucci Mane even traveled all the way out to New York City to join the girls to perform his rap verse on the song. But the best part of the performance, I feel bad saying best, but the most entertaining part of the performance <laughs> was when Normani took a little tumble, but she recovered nicely. Oh no! Take Wait. a look. <laughs> You know what? All queens have taken a tumble. Remember when Beyonce fell on her butt down those stairs? It's All initiation. Of them. You know what? She just wanted to take the song literally and go down. Did this happen to Harry Styles when they had a song <laughs> called like something about gravity down? I, I don't know. But Curse. <laughs> I will say she recovered nicely, and I think it's all in the recovery, and I think that makes yeah. Normani even more so relatable because we know she's a good dancer. Yeah. She just came off of dancing with the stars. And it was early. I think people just start making songs called up because then they won't fall down. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, Rylan, so in the promo for Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim tells Chris that she read Caitlyn's tell-all book and it is not good. Apparently, Caitlyn accused Chris of not paying any bills and it turns out that Caitlyn actually was the one who hasn't paid a bill since 1972. Mm. Take a look. So you were in charge of that. She didn't know how much a gardener was. And in the book writes, well, Chris didn't need me anymore. All the checks for keeping up with the Kardashians, they all went to Chris. Went to Chris? How about it went to the mortgage and the insurance? Okay, also in the sneak peek, Chris is accusing Caitlyn of lying about why she broke up with her ex-wife, Linda, saying that Linda knew about her transitioning. It's messy. Like, why wouldn't you have just told me what happened with Linda so at least I could make my own decision if I wanted to get married to someone who really wanted to be a woman? She just literally started three families with three different people and <laughs> everyone over. 100%. So Cam just goes on to like just be upset about the whole thing, obviously. And I have a feeling Caitlyn's gonna be speaking out about this because she technically ruined three families. Well, on Watch What Happens Live, if you saw it this past With week. Yeah, yeah, she said that the only reason that Caitlyn and Chris will ever talk is because of their two daughters. Yeah. Other than that, she thinks that they will not come together at all. Caitlyn wrote a book that said some not so nice, so, some not so nice things. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, you guys. Some not so nice things about Chris and Chris is feeling some type of way towards Caitlyn. Now this is emerging, it's all bad. I heard her say your mama. Well, all right, Drew, Liam Payne has finally released his video for Strip That Down. And by released, I mean it actually got leaked before the release, but oh. the, re the leak was close enough to the release that it was all fine. And in my opinion, I feel like some artists plan these leaks because oh, totally. it brings more hype and publicity to their song, but the video, is great and I'm living for it. It starts in black and white and all eyes are on Liam. And when the video transitions into full neon color, we see a little taste of Liam getting his groove on. You know I love it when the music stops, but come and strip that down for me, baby. Now there's a lot of people in the crowd, but only you can dance with me. So put your hands on my body and swing that round for me. The whole video is cut between Liam serenading the camera and impressive backup dancers showing off their insane moves. But perhaps the best part of the video is just how good Liam looks with his gravity-defying hair and preppy Letterman's jacket. 
I like it. I do too, and yeah. I actually really like this song. It's something I wasn't expecting from him, which makes me like it even more, and it's a song that I can actually get down to in the car, and I think the music video accompanies the song nicely. Yeah. All right, you guys, just 10 days after the bombing in Manchester, Ariana Grande has returned to the UK for the One Love Manchester benefit concert. Ariana landed at the airport this morning in the UK, but the good news is if you can't attend the concert, you'll be able to watch it on TV. The concert will air on Sunday on ABC and Freeform in the US, and you can catch it on Freeform live at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, followed by a one-hour highlight special on ABC after the NBA Finals. The show is expected to raise $3 million for the victims, with the proceeds going to the Red Cross's Manchester Emergency Fund. All right, you guys, so a lot of stars are going to be performing at this concert. It is jam-packed with so many people, and Miley Cyrus even thanked Ariana, mm -hmm. right? On Instagram, she sent a sweet message to Ariana with a video of them singing together, just saying thank you for being such a great friend and for allowing her to be a part of the concert and for supporting the Hippie Foundation. Mm -hmm. I Hippie. love that all of these stars are gathering together for mm -hmm. such a good cause. I love it and I cannot wait to tune in. In other relationship news, Taylor Swift was seen publicly for the first time. Are we talking about relationships? Time. No, I said in other relationship news. Yeah, were we talking about any other relationship? No, I'm just changing the topic. Okay. Let me live, Drew. Okay, continue, sorry. In different news, you... Taylor Swift was seen for the first time with her new rumored boyfriend, and his name is Joe Alwyn. All right, so the first appearance was actually them boarding a private jet from the UK to the US. Uh, they were apparently chauffeured by a car to the private jet in which they took to the United States. I think it's crazy that we know so much about their existence Super and where they creepy. live. Super um, creepy. Apparently, the two started dating last month and have been uber private. Taylor has traveled back and forth between England, where he lives, and Nashville, where she's been recording new music. So apparently, he's also come to visit Taylor twice, so they're traveling back and forth and trying to make things work, and E! News' sources said that Taylor is really trying to keep this relationship under wraps. I'm guessing that's because the last 30 boyfriends she's had have been super public, and maybe she's finally learning if she wants to keep a relationship real and healthy, she needs to keep it away from the public, but now we're prying into her life again. All right, so E! Source has also said that Taylor's been cutting a lot of negativity out of her life, including some of her old friendships, and they're saying that she likes to keep so private, so much so that she doesn't even like for her neighbors to know when she is at her home. Uh, I think fame has probably just affected her in some type of way, which yeah. I mean, it would. Yeah. So I wish the two of them the best of luck and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of them now that we know they're maybe officially a thing. I mean, I don't even know my neighbors. They I mean, might not even be there. Me either. I know I hear my neighbors. I just don't, like, I can hear them when we're both outside but I don't know them. Might be the voices in your head. It's sad that we don't know our neighbors. I feel like when I was growing up, that's what people did. I guess because people live in like houses with like next door neighbors. I guess, yeah, know? we're in LA, so it's different. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the end of our show. All right, you guys, of course, we have some questions for you. I want to know if you're living for Liam's new music video. And I want to know, do you guys like Fifth Harmony's new song? Mm -hmm. I was living for the tumble. Hey, you guys, it's Friday. Live your dreams, live your life, and we'll be back here on Monday. And happy donut day. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I had two. Wow, I haven't had any yet, but I'm going to go <laughs> find one. Goodbye. Bye, guys. For more, click left to see Justin Bieber hilariously chip his tooth. Or click over to the right to find out if Camila Cabello really lip-sync her Britain's. Her Britain's Got Talent performance. <laughs>